Hey guys, I'm going to help you out with Lesson 1's homework for Module 6. Um, so we're going to be talking about decimals, and let's read the instructions for number 1. So it says, shade the first four units of the tape diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 2, 3, 4. Then it says, count by tenths to label the number line using a fraction and a decimal for each point. So they've already done the first one for us. They have 0 0.1 or 1 tenth. So the next one would be 2 tenths or 0 0.2, 3 tenths, 0 0.3, 4 tenths, 0 0.4, 5 tenths, and I'm just going to fill in the rest, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and let's do the fraction version, so 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, and 9 tenths. And then it says, and 10 tenths would be the whole. And the last step says, circle the decimal that represents the shaded part. Well, four parts are shaded, so it would be 4 tenths or 0 0.4. Okay, number two, it says, write the total amount of water in fraction form and decimal form. And the last one, shade the last bottle to show the correct amount. So let's look at this first bottle. That's a liter, and I counted up from uh, 0.5 liters. It actually is 7 tenths which would be the same as 0 0.7. So I counted up from 5 to get 7. By the way, also look over here to the right. This is a ones place, and after the decimal place is called the tenths place, if your teacher hasn't told you that. So it makes a lot of sense that 7 tenths would be the same as 0 0.7 because there's 7 in the tenths place. You say them the exact same way. Okay, on the second one, I'm going to count up from 5, 6, 7, 8 tenths of the bottle, which would be 0 0.8. And then on this one, it wants you to color it in, and it says 0 0.3 liters, so I'm going to count up uh, 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths right there, shade it in. And so my fraction form would be 3 tenths liters. Okay, on number 3, we we'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. It says write the total weight of the food on each scale in fraction form or decimal form. The first one says 0 0.7 uh, kilograms, so that's a 7 in the tenths place, so the way I would write it as a fraction is 7 tenths kilograms. And then the pickles say 6 tenths, so I would write that as 0 0.6 kilograms. Okay, on the next page, it says write the length of the bug in centimeters. So if I zoom in and I look at that bug, it's kind of hard to tell. But it looks like it's halfway between the 0 and the 1, but I'm going to count the little lines to make sure it's split into 10 just so we're accurate. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's where it stops, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is split into tenths, and that bug is 5 tenths of the way to the first centimeter. So I'm going to say 5 tenths centimeters. As a decimal, that would be 0 0.5. And the last question says, if the bug walks 0.5 centimeters further, where will its nose be? If it counted five spaces up, it would exactly be at one centimeter. Okay, on question five, it says, fill in the blank to make the sentence true in both fraction and decimal form. So four tenths of a centimeter plus what would give you a whole centimeter? Well, four tenths plus what gives you a whole? Well, six tenths plus four tenths would give you 10 tenths, which is a whole, so six tenths here. And then to the right, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.6 would give you 1, just like 4 tenths plus 6 tenths. Um, here, 3 tenths plus 7 tenths would give you 1, or 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7. And here, 8 tenths plus 2 tenths would give you 1, just like 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 gives you a whole. Okay, on this next section, we're just matching. So we're matching the the written form to the fraction form to the decimal form. So I'm going to say 4 tenths goes here. So I'm going to draw the line to 4 tenths to 4 tenths. 6 tenths matches with 6 over 10. 7 tenths matches with 7 over 10. And 5 tenths matches with 5 over 10. Here, 0 0.4 is 4 tenths. 0 0.6 is 6 tenths. 0 0.2 is 2 tenths. And 0 0.5 is 5 tenths. And 0 0.7 is 7 tenths. All right, let me know if you have any questions.